Christmas Eve, a makeshift memorial set up to honor a mother shot and killed as her senseless death touches the lives of many throughout the island. Our Jelani Martinez reports. This is the growing memorial left at Pearl Ridge Center following a shooting Friday morning that left 33-year-old Teresa Catrella dead. I was actually um, here picking up my mom um, and at that time um, I thought it was fireworks and then all of a sudden I just heard sirens afterwards. Officers found Teresa with multiple gunshot wounds in a parking lot near the Bank of Hawaii. Her estranged husband, 44-year-old Jason Catuela, was the one who pulled the trigger in front of their young daughter. It's that sad. It's really sad a few days before Christmas. It's, it, really, it really hit me hard because my daughter is around that age. Meanwhile, others feel the pain more directly. I have been a victim of domestic violence and my mom was murdered when I was 16. So that kind of pain that a child goes through when a parent is taken away, um, is it's, it's, it's so hard to heal that. So I just feel like these kids need an abundance of love. They need, they need to be showered with love right now. They're gonna need a lot of help and a lot of mentors to help them heal from this because I'm 33 and I'm still healing from when I was 16. Officers found Jason dead later in the afternoon from an apparent suicide. Earlier this month, Teresa filed for a temporary restraining order. In court documents, Teresa described terrifying behavior. It needs to go to the legislature and I think we need to have stricter laws regarding uh, spousal abuse or even any type of abuse from one person to another. I think it's really sad where a waste of life, first of all, and then uh, I think could have prevented if the right um, laws or were followed, and uh, and uh, people could get the help they need on both sides. Residents say something must be done before Hawaii becomes unrecognizable. We are the Aloha State for a reason. You know, we're supposed to love one another. Um, and every time it's the state versus the people of Hawaii, it's the only time we get together. But from, from that, it's always Hawaii versus Hawaii. And it's, it's sad to see everybody just turn on, turn on each other and not love each other. That was our Jelani Martinez reporting. The family has set up a GoFundMe page to help with funeral costs and support for the children. And we have the link to that on our website. A Christmas gift donation drive has been set up for Teresa and Jason Cachuela's five children. There are three girls, ages 20, 13, and 8, and two boys, ages 18 and 15. Teresa's cousin says she reached out to local businesses like To Be Desired and Lex Breezy for help in collecting donations. I decided to organize this for my cousin Teresa and for her children because they both lost their mother and their father and I'm just trying to help my family and help the kids. My main focus is, is the babies. They need support. They need love. She supported me before I even started my business and was out doing other modeling gigs and she's the type of person she was. I, I feel it's only right for me to, you know, open up and be able to help in any way that I can. You can drop off gifts at To Be Desired at Kamakana Ili'i and the Lex Breezy stores at Alamoana and Kailua. And if you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, call the Oahu Helpline at 808-531-3771 or the toll-free helpline at 800-690-6200. We'll also have a link to the Domestic Violence Action Center on our website.